Greetings. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the first virtual graduation in the history of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. We're all part of an unprecedented event in the 122-year history of our institution. Although the circumstances that precipitated the format of today's commencement have been challenging to everyone, today is a great day in your life and in the history of the university. It's a day to celebrate your accomplishments with your family and your friends, a day to celebrate the resilience and the longevity of this great institution, and a day you've anticipated and worked very hard to bring to fruition. We all wish we were gathered together this weekend in Lafayette, because like you and your families, commencement is a joyous time for everyone at the university. You are our greatest success, and we want to celebrate this moment as well. We will have an opportunity to gather with you at a later time, and we look forward to that day. But we simply could not allow this day to pass without formally conferring the degrees that you have earned. There are many people who have helped you to reach this milestone. One group in particular that we must recognize are the extraordinary faculty who have mentored you and taught you so well during your years at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. And in your case, the graduates of spring 2020, these same faculty found a way to deliver their promise to you in the midst of one of the most significant crises in our nation's history. Take the opportunity to let those faculty members know just how much they impacted your life. But now, it's about you and about what you have accomplished during these trying times. Welcome again to our commencement ceremony. Congratulations on this significant milestone in your life. And now celebrate with us and with those who have gathered with you. Welcome, members of the Class of 2020, and welcome to all of those watching this celebration, the first virtual commencement in the university's history. Of course, we weren't looking to make history when this semester began, but the past few months have cast us all as participants in events the likes of which the world has not seen in some time. This global pandemic has touched nearly every aspect of our lives as individuals, and nearly every facet of our university's life as well. As an institution, we've had to reimagine how to operate, how our students learn, where they learn, and how we celebrate their achievements. You, the members of this spring graduating class, refuse to be deterred by these extraordinary circumstances. And despite the multitude of changes and challenges this semester posed, you remain focused on your goal of earning an academic degree, and you've done it. So congratulations are in order. You know, commencement is a highlight of every semester, and it's an opportunity to offer graduates the best wishes of the university as they begin the next chapter of their lives. From my usual vantage point, I can look into the graduates' hopeful faces and the sight never fails to reassure me. The future of our community and of our world is in good hands. Although the view is different this time, my confidence remains. You have proven your ability to answer challenges with resilience and to meet the unexpected with resolve. Resilience is a quality that the world always needs, and that certainly is true today. You have it. It's right there alongside your ingenuity, courage, optimism, and compassion. These traits, combined with the knowledge that you've gained here and the skills that you have sharpened, will ensure that a brighter and better future remains ahead for yourselves, your loved ones, and for our broader community. In the next few days, you will receive your diplomas. On the surface, they commemorate your labor, sacrifice, and yes, your resilience. But look more closely, and you'll see that your diploma also represents a belief that someone else had in your dreams. Your family's fingerprints are on that diploma. 
The fingerprints of your friends and professors are there as well. They and many others help you to reach your destination today. Call them, text them, FaceTime them, write them, email them. Though you may not be able to physically embrace them, let your words and thoughts of gratitude draw them close. And in the future, when you look at your diplomas, imagine their fingerprints. Remember how their kindness influenced your lives. And let those memories inspire you to help someone else reach their goal as well. Now, at the beginning of your journey toward an academic degree, I know that many of you imagined what commencement might look like. None of us pictured an event quite like this one. But whether the commencement is remote or in person, my request of you and the university's expectations for you would be the same. Be present in the world. Show up. Participate. Make a difference. In this age of social distancing, we cannot separate ourselves from the responsibility that each of us has as individuals to apply our skills, talent, and knowledge to make a difference for the greater good. You've learned that lesson throughout your time at the university, and the past few months have made it all the more clear. Be present in the world. It needs you. We all need you now more than ever. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Please stay safe and go Cajuns. Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I'm Jim Henderson. I am president of the University of Louisiana system. The system comprises nine universities across the state of Louisiana. And of course, one of my favorites, one of my top nine is the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, partly because I send a tuition check there every semester for my physics major, math major, chemistry major son, who will graduate this fall, God willing. Uh, what you have achieved is remarkable in its own right. You are a college graduate. That's a goal that has eluded so many Louisianans and so many people across the country. Forevermore, you'll be a college graduate. But this is what makes you special. You completed your studies in an unprecedented circumstance. One that was really unfathomable even eight weeks ago when we first became amateur epidemiologists and started talking about how viruses can expand across cities and countries and states. The fact that you were able to be successful under these circumstances says a lot about who you are. It says you're resilient, it says you're focused, it says that you can overcome obstacles that couldn't even be envisioned. Those are traits that are going to make you successful for the rest of your life. We are, take great pride in every one of our graduates. It's hard to, to understand that unless you're an educator, that sense of pride that you get in watching a student walk across the stage. Well, we don't get to watch you walk across the stage, at least not today. Hopefully we'll get to in the very near future. For now though, Please know that we are proud of you. We're grateful for you. We congratulate you. Go Cajuns. Hello to my fellow Ragin' Cajuns, to the university administration, faculty, and staff, and to the parents, friends, relatives, and extended family members of the UL Lafayette community. Congratulations. We've done it. Over the past four years, I've had the privilege of being a student at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I found myself consistently in awe of the vigor with which professors have prepared insightful and challenging coursework, yet were also accessible and compassionate when we've needed help or guidance. I've been in awe of students that, in addition to full-time class loads and jobs, sacrificed their time, their money, their talents, and their energy to support a student organization, or to a philanthropy, or to a service event, or in support of our friends, our teammates, and our classmates. We are and have always been a boisterous, spirited university that constantly inspires bettering our campus and the world around it. This semester, that boisterous and spirited environment was cut short without warning, 
and cast waves of grief, disappointment, and worry upon us as we came to terms with harsh uncertainty. But because a need for companionship, an understanding of the problems facing our community, a heart for service, and a wherewithal to respond is in our very nature, we've used our time out of the classroom to sew masks, to deliver and shop for our more vulnerable population, and even to step onto the front lines ourselves, but most importantly, to help our family however we can. We did not wait to act, to serve, or to respond, and our reaction to this disaster both encompasses our character and anticipates our lifetime of service and global impact. There is a hard truth that marks today's virtual celebrations, for which there can be no unanimous sentiment or process by which to resolve. There is nothing that I or anyone else can say to make the sting of the sudden changes to this ceremony any easier to bear because I feel them too and I've gone through every emotion with you. But there is another greater truth that seals today's celebrations that no one and nothing can take away our education. We have endured shock tragedy, illness, and loneliness, but we have done it with a greater ability to appreciate our circumstances and with a deeper respect for others' ideas and concerns and with a richer understanding of our future purpose. If there's one thing I've learned at UL, it's that anyone in South Louisiana can be born a Cajun, but only the fire-tested candidates at the end of sleepless nights, early mornings, and ever-challenging semester after semester get to proudly call themselves Ragin' Cajun alumni. Though it is not the way that we imagined, our day, too, has come, marking the last of our degree requirements and the first in a lifetime of excellence. There is no other class no other semester, no other university, and no other student body I would rather share this experience with. And the day when we can return to our alma mater from every corner of the world, it will be that much sweeter to share alumni status with you all. Congratulations. Hello, I have the honor to introduce to you the university's outstanding graduates and master's finalists. The Outstanding Graduate and Outstanding Master's Graduate Award is one of the highest honors bestowed upon an undergraduate and master's graduate. The Outstanding Graduate Award is awarded to an exemplary bachelor's student in recognition of outstanding academic and extracurricular achievements. The master's student is selected based on leadership, scholarship, service, and research. The Alumni Association's Awards Committee interviewed all outstanding graduates then selected the winners. The outstanding graduate for the College of Arts is Lauren Graham LeBlanc. Lauren majored in fine arts with a concentration in graphic design with a 3.82 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the B.I. Moody III College of Business Administration is Francisca Riepel. Francisca majored in economics with a political science minor with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Education is Sarah Fry. Sarah majored in exercise science with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Engineering is Kyle Zappi. Kyle majored in chemical engineering with a 3.95 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Liberal Arts is Rachel Laudiger. Rachel double majored in political science and history with a 3.97 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Nursing and Allied Health Professions is Sarah Caswell. Sarah majored in nursing with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the Ray P. Audemont College of Sciences is April Pruitt. April is a biology major with a minor in chemistry and psychology with a 3.95 GPA. The outstanding graduate from University College is Miranda Wiltz. Miranda majored in general studies with a 3.92 GPA. Now it is my privilege to introduce the outstanding master's finalists. Olivia Lahey is graduating with a Master of Science in Civil Engineering from the College of Engineering with a 4.0 GPA. Tyler Martinez is graduating with a Master of Arts in English from the College of Liberal Arts with a 4.0 GPA. Abigail, Abby, Pratt 
is graduating with a Master of Science in Biology from the Ray P. Audemars College of Sciences with a 4.0 GPA. Melody Tanako is graduating with a Master of Music from the College of Arts with a 4.0 GPA. Now, award time. The Spring 2020 Outstanding Graduate Award winner is Kyle Zappi from the College of Engineering. The Outstanding Master's Graduate Award winner is Olivia Lahe, also from the College of Engineering. Congratulations, Kyle and Olivia, and all our outstanding graduates and master's finalists, as well as all of our graduates. On behalf of the Alumni Association and over 100,000 graduates before you, welcome to the Alumni Association. All graduates will receive an Alumni Association lapel pin with their diploma. Congratulations. Good morning to each of you. I'm Gordon Brooks and I'm the Dean of the College of the Arts at the University of Louisiana in Lafayette. And this gives me great pleasure to be here to preside over this your commencement today. And yes, it is your commencement day. It's graduation for you. I know it doesn't seem like it, doesn't look like it, it certainly doesn't smell like it, but it is your day of graduation, so therefore it's your commencement. And I applaud you and congratulate you for all your achievements. And this has been a rocky road for you guys, especially this last semester where you've had to uh, go remote and do the remaining part of your semester uh, with remote learning. But I'm proud of you and it doesn't take away a thing to, of your degree. You're to be congratulated. I want to thank our faculty who've done an amazing job of seeing you through this all and also your friends and families and loved ones who've done the same thing. So I hope you get a chance today to thank them as well uh, today. The College of the Arts is a unique college and has a lot of different programs, as you're aware. It has architecture and interior design and industrial design. It also has theater and dance and music and all the visual arts. So it's really quite diverse. And even though it's a small college, it's an important component in the university because the university relies on the College of the Arts to provide the creativity that the world needs right now. Think about it. Think about all the Netflix you've watched and others have watched, all the uh, music you've, you've streamed uh, through this COVID-19 crisis. It's been amazing. So your contributions to this world will be so important. And so I congratulate you for being the creative people that you are. Um, but I know that there's more work to be done too. Um, you have to trust in yourself now and you have to lean forward into your future. And that's where trust comes in. You have to trust that we've given you the right tools and the right knowledge that you can survive and thrive in your chosen careers. But you also mostly have to trust in yourself to do the right thing, to be creative, and to contribute. Because what the world needs now are more architects, more interior designers, more industrial designers, more musicians, more visual artists, more dancers, and more theater people to entertain us, to um, house our, all of our activities, and also to help us reach inside ourselves and understand who we are and where we're going. So I congratulate you for being a creator, and I look forward to hearing about all your achievements in the future. Thank you. And now, presenting The Graduates. Miriam al -Hijji. Gracie Allen. Hey, friends and family. I just want to say thank you all so much for your love and support during my four years at UL. I did it! <laughs> Madison Brianna Ardwan. Jessica Genevieve Arnold. Ashlyn Marie Augustine. Ashley Carol Barus. Emily Anderley Barrett. Grace Shea Bachman. Bailey Michael Bayard. Nicole Bertrand 
Dakota Jake B.U. Samantha Ann Bishop. I wanted to thank my friends and family for all their encouragement and support, and I look forward to what my life Angel Christine Bolt. Madison Claire Boudreau. Taylor Claire Bork. Reagan Britton. I did it! Woo! Christian Joseph Broussard. Christian Samuel Broussard. Megan Elise Calhoun. Garrett Paul Cannon. Victoria Elizabeth Carrier. Thank you to everyone who supported me on my journey through college and up until now, graduation. I can't believe the day is finally here. Congratulations, everyone in class of 2020. Morgan Elizabeth Chandler. Carlin A. Cormier. Casey Lynn Credor. Brianna Michelle Cushall. Millie Dante. Armand de L'Oreal. Elise Marcel Degrees. My time as a Raging Cajun has been such a blessing. I'm so thankful for my family, friends, professors, and mentors that have been with me through this journey. Go Cajuns! Madison DeMarco. Tristan Dakota Dixon. Arzavia Randell Dobar. First, I want to thank God, and I want to thank my family and friends, especially my mom and my grandma. Everybody I met along the way, y'all got me here today. Thank y'all. Corinne Hannah Drexel. Scott Joseph Dufresh. Happy graduation day. I want to thank all my family and friends for supporting me through the last few years. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Timothy Dupree. Caitlin Michelle Equier. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. James Gerard Ellis. Percy A. Fabre. Caroline Marie Farrell. Marley Ann Fontenot. Larry Gale Fowler III. Brittany Irina Freeman. Dianne Elise Fulton Crossan. I finally did it. A special thanks to all my friends and family for their support. Thank you, Andy, Adam, and Thomas for all your guidance. Onward to my next adventure. I love you all. Carly Gote. Jacob Taylor Gibson. Michael Christopher Geller. DeAndre Malik Godley. Lauren Corinne LeBlanc. Madison Graves. Amanda Christine Gidry. 
to my classmates and my fellow graduates, I've had so much fun with you over the past few years and I wish you the best of luck post-graduation. I hope to see you again in the near future. Go Cajun! Adam Thomas Harper. It's certainly been a pretty interesting ending for the spring class of 2020, but we made it. Shout out to mom and dad. I love y'all and shout out to my friends and colleagues for helping me get through this journey. Go Cajuns! Aaron Hawkins. Dylan Neal Hebert. Elsie Renee Henry. Becca Elizabeth Hill. Lacey Howard. Cortez Hunter. Sarah Francis Ray Isaacs. Katie Mackenzie Janice. Jacob Bo Jewell. Hey everyone, I just want to say thank you to everybody who helped me through these last four years of hell, especially my family, my friends back home, and my loving girlfriend. Let's do this, y'all. John Robert Jones. Katie Elizabeth Judice. Brandon Nordstrom Cars. I just want to personally thank each and every one of you, family, friends, professors, anybody who sat there and helped me through these years of school. Thank you. Natalie Marie Kojus. Taisia Kolisnik. Alexander Damian Leche. Glenn Adrian Lawson. Let's end things on a good note. <laughs> Hannah Michelle Landry. Thank you to my family, friends, and professors for all the love and support over the past four years. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Shelby Latour. Katie Elizabeth Loudon. Helena Lecoq. Lexi Ivy Lemonier. Michelle Lachey Livingston. <laughs> Alexis Louvier. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you to my professors, family, friends, amazing boyfriend, and anyone else who supported me. You know who you are. Scott Robert Maloney. Ashley Nicole Marshall Elizabeth Martinez Chance Massey Trista McCord Dallas Elizabeth Carroll Meredith Shelby Moore. Josie Marie Morgan. Brittany Mott. Nikki Renee Mount. Alyssa Muto. Shayla Donnie Nelson. Connie Ann New. 
Lynn Marie Odenwald. Thaddeus Andrew Perkins. Alexandra Mercedes Pollard. Harley Janice Price. I'd like to thank all my family and friends, as well as my professors and the faculty and staff here at UL Lafayette that have supported me throughout my four years of education. Without y'all, I couldn't have done this. Andrea Rivera. Alexis de Villiers. Abner Adrian Rodriguez Malave. Briley Bevo Rome. Sarah Fairchild Rumsey. Sarah K. Simon. Mackenzie Lane Smith. Elena Ann Sonier. Samantha Michelle Spoon. John Lee St. Clair. Honor Stickley. Olivia Lane Talbot. Charmond Tanner. The last four years have been very challenging, but with your love and grace, I was able to get through it. Thank you. Lauren Elizabeth Taylor. Kaylin Michelle Fayard. Dalton Jonathan Tujay. Logan Matthew Turner. Stephen Alexander Van Zant. I'd like to thank my parents, my brother Zachary and my sister Carol Ann, as well as my girlfriend Caroline and all of my amazing friends and Fletcher Rats who've made the last four years truly unforgettable. Thank you. John Paul Walker. Laura Grace Watts. Romello Ronald Williams. Shiloh Jalon Williams. Shelby Young. So congratulations to you again, and I wish you all the luck in the world in your future endeavors, and I want to hear from you. You're alums now, and I want to make sure that you stay in touch with the College of the Arts at the University of Louisiana in Lafayette. So by the power invested in me by President Joseph Savoy and the State Board of Supervisors for the University of Louisiana system, I now confer upon you your respective academic degrees with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates.